This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor, rumor. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. So Jeannie Mai and her co-host from The Real were on Big Boy's Neighborhood Radio Show, and they were talking about her dating Jeezy, and she was opening up about being in an interracial relationship and how important it is to understand each other's culture. When you look at the word interracial, you should really look at it like inner responsible. It is a responsibility when you date outside your race to learn about that culture because not everybody's experience is the same. When he mm-hmm. steps into my house, he takes off his shoes. He knows how Vietnamese people do it. When I met him, I was like, I want to go to Hawkinsville. Show me like, exactly this yellow house that you grew up in and, and what kind of, how'd you start your business? How'd you understand how to make a dollar? Yeah, that's nice. That's what you should do. <sighs> Just say you in love, Jeannie. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's and what, you know what she what, said? That's what you do when you all in. You went to Hawkinsville. You ain't even go to Atlanta. You say, like, take me to Hawkinsville. I want to go to Auntie House. She also said that she's uh, learning what it means to feel safe. When you meet a man who is vulnerable enough to make you feel safe, it's your job to protect and cherish them or let them go where they find the right woman who's ready for that. She said, otherwise, we go through life and we have relationships. We get misled. We get cheated on. We get all these things that happen. And that the person who was willing to be safe is now recoiled and doesn't want to give that. Jeannie Ma went to Jeezy's auntie house in Hawkinsville. She want to see where he used to hide them yams at. Jeezy oh, so aunt is, is nuts, by the way. All right. I don't know. Like, I mean, have you ever met Jeezy's aunt? Mm-mm. The one from Hawkinsville, the one that you rap about all the time? No, no. Lord, have mercy. Moo B. Really? Man. <laughs> Man. All right, now let's talk about <laughs> Remy Ma and Ebony K. Williams on State of the Culture. You know, Ebony K. Williams is the newest addition to the show. I didn't know that. So she's on the show every day now? Yes. Oh, boy. She's on the show. And the two of them got into a bit of a, I don't know, I guess a debate about snitching and proper protocol. So if you're going to make it, this is what I would say. Privately as possible, if if possible. Limit the scope of your testimony and be real specific about what you're getting in exchange directly. Quid pro quo. I'm going to give you this amount of names with this much involvement and this much eyewitness testimony in exchange for, in a, in a perfect world, immunity, no time, time served. You really should not be trying to go back into gym pop after you have given that type of Can cooperation. Can I get off of this couch while she's giving people advice <laughs> and tips on how to... The snitch. I feel like how y'all felt with Candace Owens. That's how I feel like I do not belong on this couch right now. <laughs> Two different sides. Yeah, yeah I mean, and listen. Ebony is a lawyer, so yes. she has to deal with those things Two at different times. Sides. Ebony's not wrong, and neither is Remy. It's just different perspectives. Ebony's speaking from an attorney standpoint for someone who decided to be an informant, and Remy is saying, F all that snitching stuff, period. Don't I come commit from, crimes. I come from a different which, place. Which right. is both, they both correct. Now, Ebony K. Williams took to Twitter and said, it's all good. We both have passion about the issue. We leave it all on the set. I was playing with Remy's sweet baby afterwards. So people thought they weren't getting along. The whole point is for them to have different viewpoints and to come from That's different fine. places. Absolutely. I understand where both of them were coming from. Ebony is simply coming from the standpoint of, if you decide to snitch, because if you watch the whole <laughs> clip, she's like, she wouldn't, she don't recommend that. But if you t- do decide to snitch, this is what you should do. Make sure you and, get what you're supposed to get. And Remy's like, right. F all of that. Don't commit crimes if you're going to snitch. But here's the thing about that. Some of the most realest, so-called toughest gangster killers have snitched. Absolutely. A lot of monsters. <laughs> like, yes. It happens. People you know have snitched. <laughs> In real life. Yeah. Everybody knows somebody who snitched on somebody. All right. Yeah. Here's another person who snitched. Takashi 6 ix driver. They're saying that he turned into a police informant after he got arrested by ICE. Uh, Jorge Rivera became a police informant after he got arrested. And when asked if he spoke to law enforcement about cooperating, he just replied, yes. And he actually um, talked about it. Here, listen. Tekashi 6 9 You know Tekashi 6 9 the rapper? The singer? Uh-huh. Yeah, they just kidnapped it. They, we get pulled over, right, by uh-huh. two guys with guns, and they just take it off from the car. Take him? Yes. Where this happened? Yeah, right here, around the corner. <laughs> Who are you talking to? They come on and, and uh, try to shoot me, so I, I back it up and, and I came this way. Okay, show me where it happened. That was no cop he was talking to. <laughs> well, listen, they have audio. <laughs> what had happened, man? <laughs> but, that was no damn cop. <laughs> he was in court, and he told the court that he's been an informant <laughs> since July of 2018. And... Basically, imagine so how much So all the inform- time he was driving, he was an informant? So, yes. Yeah, so imagine. Yikes! Imagine your driver, because the driver is the person that knows everything. Everything. They're with you. They see everything that's going on. They know who's oh, in the man. car. They hear your phone conversation. He, he never had a chance in hell. Yeah, man. It's good that you really can't understand the driver. <laughs> he never had a chance in hell. <laughs> but I'm saying it's just good that you really can't understand what he's saying. Uh, <laughs> and they also had a camera installed in the car, too, that was recording. For real? 
<laughs> oh, so, <laughs> yo, they never had a chance. Oh, my God. I, I, I wish I cared. This is going crazy. Sheesh. Now, Charlie Puth has tweeted, and he has since deleted this message, but he said if 6 9 gets out and is able to make another record, I'll produce it for free. Who's Charlie Puth? That's uh, my guy. He's from Jersey. Yeah. He's a producer. White, he's a white, well, he's a, actually an artist. Mm. Didn't he have that huge song with, um? was it with Wiz Khalifa? Yeah, 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 yep, yep, yep. He yep. was up here one day. Mm-hmm. I was, he came in the studio, we was chopping it up for a little bit. He has since deleted that tweet, though. Mm. Why, he got killed? I don't know. I can imagine. Don't put that I don't like even that. know what made him even say that. If 6 9 gets out and is able to make another record, I'll produce it for free just to tweet that I out. I definitely said something worse if 6 9 got out. What would you say? What would you say? I'm not repeating. What would you say? I'm no curious. Worse than you'll produce a record for him? Yes. You don't remember yet? What would you say? I'm not repeating. I feel like I remember something. I'm not repeating. Do we have that audio? Come on, Drum. You have every audio, but you don't have that audio. I'm not repeating it. So what's going to happen if he does get out? I was actually Charlie Puth will do a record and while he's recording the record I was was, was so confident that he wasn't coming home that I said something wild that I won't repeat but you gotta back it up you gotta be a man of your words you not a man of your words because technically he's not he didn't get out he did a whole year and he's snitching you know what I'm saying he getting out though I don't think he getting out I think he gonna do I think he gonna do like two to three all right. You think he's going to get out with time, sir? Is there yes. another wager you, you want to make? Absolutely. <laughs> Damn. He talking too much not to get out for time, sir. Yeah, but he talking about stuff that ain't got nothing oh, to do with nothing. Have what, what did he say? If Takashi 6 9 <laughs> hates this case, <laughs> I'll suck his dick. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. That's crazy that y'all got Everybody that Everybody so wins. <laughs> Yo. He said it was gay. So what? <laughs> <laughs> gay, so, what? <laughs> so when Takashi gets out, we know what his That's first stop is going to be. I talk too much, you know? Sometimes I just run off at the mouth and just say things and, you know. I told you, it would be great if, like Charlie, said, if Charlie Puth records the song while you do what you're supposed right. to do and they fulfill okay. both bets at the same time. That would be right, amazing. <laughs> Mock it off, everybody. All right, okay. I'm Angela Yee, and that is your that tweet. rumor <laughs> report. Jeez. <laughs> You're kinky. This show is wild. <laughs> we wild. <laughs>